Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've all had a really great Christmas break. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my goals for 2017. <laughs> Welcome to 2017. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my sewing goals that I have for this year. There is an accompanying post on my blog that I put up um, just today, earlier this morning. So you can, I'll link it in somewhere and you guys can head over to that as well to check it out in a bit more detail. But I also wanted to do a YouTube video to go along with it just to explain a little bit more about what it is if um, there's some bits in there that you haven't heard of before. My goals go it, like hand in hand with the hashtag make nine 2017 challenge that was set by Rochelle New or Rochelle News. I think it's Rochelle New, um, but I'll link it in below. And basically, she decided to do um, a hashtag make nine as something that she can reflect on to see um, how far, how much she progressed, or how well the previous year did or didn't go by having something tangible to say. At the beginning of this year I said I wanted to do these things and at the end of the year I've managed to do these things so how has it worked out, what have I learned and things like that. And I thought that would be a really good thing to do this year um, as a way of keeping me a bit more focused and having my sewing, giving my sewing a bit more of a direction and to put it hand in hand with my goals it then makes it really clear and easy to see if this is what my goal is, these are the things that I need to do to achieve that goal and sort of tick it off the list and, you know, progress and set a new goal to get to the bigger overall goal for the end of the year. So that's it. So I'll talk to you first about my goals. I have four goals for this year um, that all lead up to the bigger goal for the year, which is to be self-employed by the end of the year. So I will tell you that. I put it on um, another blog post that I posted up just earlier this week. And I was keeping it a little bit secret, but... You know, you need to declare to the universe what it is that you want to bring onto yourself. So that is my declaration, is to, by the end of this year, um, be self-employed. And um, I'll link in my other blog post as well, so you can have a look and see what other personal um, goals I've got. I've set myself um, and commitments I'm going to make to help me get to that point and get to a few other goals that I have as well for the year. My first sewing related goal is to improve my tailoring skills that I have learned from things that I have made last year. So I made a tailored men's tailored blazer last year and the year before that I made a cape. Or well, that might have been last year as well. I can't I can't actually remember when I made it. So to prove like, my tailoring skills on that and also to uh, make uh, occasion dresses which I think kind of goes hand in hand with tailoring and sort of breaches on the, the point of couture um, sewing and couture fashion, which is something that I also want to learn. Skills that I want to build on for this year because I, I love tailored clothes, I love tailoring in, in general. I think it, it's amazing. It's the way that someone can literally construct a garment um, so that it fits your body, hugs your body and it's like a second skin. Is, is I think that's amazing so that's something I definitely want to learn. My second sewing goal for 2017 is to get to grips with stretch fabric. Like I've said before I love tailoring so I love tailoring fabric, I love the structure, I love everything that you can do with a woven fabric. I've shied away from jersey fabric to the point where I did not have a single piece of jersey fabric in my sewing stash up until last year and I have been sewing for many years. Um, so how I have managed to avoid jersey for that long is, um, I, I believe, a testament to myself, <laughs> to my dedication to woven fabrics. The third sewing goal that I have for this year is to make something other than clothing. There are loads of things that I could make with my sewing machine, but I only make clothes at, at this point in time, at this present point in time. I have only ever used my sewing machine to make an item of clothing. But there are lots of other things that I can make, uh, like accessories, for example, chokers. Chokers are quite, well, quite a big thing last year. I can make chokers this year, I can make them for myself, to have a unique choker to wear, like a fur shawl to have in the winter, or a, a collar sort of attachment to go onto a shirt to give it a bit of an edge if you just buy a plain shirt and you just want to put a, a clip-on collar, I guess, as opposed to a clip-on tie. But then ties and everything that I can make. So I just want to explore other things to make, just to 
have a little bit of break to break up the clothes a little bit more because I do love making clothes and I love the construction of clothes but there are other things that I, I could try and I could potentially find a new love for that. Maybe I could fall in love with making cushion covers or making chokers or something else and it's just to give a bit more variety to uh, what I am making on my sewing machine this year so that I don't get bored and hopefully the creativity and influence can still influence the creativity and inspiration can still flow with all of the things that I am making and then the final thing that I want to make um the final thing my final goal for 2017 is to make five custom pieces for paying customers so this is obviously the step that's going to be the biggest step towards the point of self-employment is to build up my client list so I want to make five custom things for five different people no make a custom a custom item for five different people i feel like i've complicated that sentence more than when i first said it but it's fine I, i'm really hoping that you've got the got the gist of it for my hashtag make nine two thousand and seventeen i have picked nine things that i believe will help me to be able to achieve my goals for this year and the first thing on the list is the thing that i kept saying at the end of last year i was going to make and that's jeans jeans I need them in my life. I spend far too much money on high street jeans just for them to fall apart, to have to go out and buy another pair, for them to fall apart again, that I really need to start making my own jeans. So I will make jeans for myself, but then I also want to learn how to make men's jeans as well, because I why not? If I'm gonna learn how to make jeans and add it to my plethora of skills, I may as well learn how to make them for both people, um, both genders. <laughs> The second thing on my hashtag make nine is a wedding dress or prom dress, which is self-explanatory. It covers off goal number one. And the third thing is coats. So to make more coats this year, which again covers off number one. And then number four on the hashtag make nine is to make a bag or purse, which covers off the make something other than clothes goal. Number five on the make nine is trousers, uh, which covers off number one but then also is just something that I want to do to build up those skill sets but also because I'm constantly saying I don't have enough trousers as well as making girls trousers to make men's trousers as well to help build up and cover off point number four which was to get some paying customers this year. Number six are we up to now is um, to make some shirts and blouses for this year. If you watch my seamstress tag you'll know that uh, buttons and buttonholes are my least favourite sewing task and I said then that I need to drill it out of me to get over it. So that's what I want to do this year is to make several shirts and several blouses to get over the buttonhole fiasco because um, I'm sure as soon as I find a way to make them that works for me then it will be a million times easier and it won't be quite such a daunting task. Number seven is to make um, jersey tops. Uh, that's just a really quick way to cover off the get into grips with knit fabrics but not to just make, you know, churning out t-shirts all the time. As much as that is good and you, you can never have too many t-shirts really, but it's then exploring what other things can jersey fabrics do because you have a lot of wrap dresses that are in jersey fabrics so then can you make convert them into being wrap tops and then from there can you convert them into being maybe cut out tops and different things like that and just finding other things that jersey fabric can do and it's not just jersey fabric on its own, it's looking at jersey fabric when it's lined with a stretch jersey and maybe when it's lined with a non-stretch jersey and different things like that, just finding ways to start off, to start off first with a jersey top because I need to know how that works and then from that jersey top then building and building and building and building until I get really comfortable with jersey fabric and I am just as comfortable working with jersey fabric as I am with working with woven fabric. And number eight and nine on the list are things that I need to do for myself. But it covers off the goal of making something other than um, clothes, which is to make some cushion covers, which I do need for some of my cushions in my flat. And also some blinds, which is again something I need to run on blinds, is what I um, intend to make the fabric ones. Just to clarify, my images on my Make 9, it's not that I am saying I would specifically want to make that top or those pair of trousers or anything um, which is I know what other people have done with their make nine is that they've picked specific patterns and they've put pictures of that pattern there. I want to make sure that I am making more custom patterns this year because I have taught myself how to pattern cut 
and how to manipulate patterns and how to amend different patterns and things like that but I haven't really used those skills as much uh, last year as I had obviously when I first taught myself so I want to make sure that this year I am definitely making use of that which feeds into the goal of making custom items and building up my client list so I haven't put any patterns down for what jeans I'm going to make or what coat I'm going to make and things like that instead I've put inspiration pictures from, that I have found from other designers like for example the jeans are a Levi's pair of jeans the coat is an Adine coat, the shirt is a Victoria Beckham, a Beckham shirt and uh, the trousers are a Macchio pair of trousers and the occasion dress is an Ellie Saab dress so I just put them on there to give me inspiration to then go forward and make a pattern to complete that task anything that I make will be inspired by the original thing, it won't be an exact copy of and I wanted to say that on here on YouTube because it, it's quite hard to explain things like that without going on and on and on on a blog post or on Twitter or whatever like that so I just wanted to say that on here. Those are my goals for 2017, those are my sewing goals. Head over to my blog to see what my um, personal goals are for the year and what you can expect to see from me on YouTube and on my Instagram and other social medias uh, for this year. Um, and I'm, I'm so excited for this year, you know, I hope you guys stick along um, for this journey. I'm hoping that it will inspire someone else to, you know, take that leap of faith and, you know, trust themselves when inside their person they're saying, you need to do this for, for you, you need to go forward and, and follow your dreams. Um, as cliche as it sounds. Um, but yes, so that's it, that's everything I want to talk to you guys about today. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.